Welcome to Joyous Living Today. My name is Bill Odom. And I'm Tammy Odom. And we have another great program lined up for you today. Yes, today's guest is Josh Nyman and Tara Webb. We will be interviewing them, and they will be giving us a testimony. And also, they are going to be blessing you in song. Yes, you don't want to miss this. I'll guarantee you, you're going to get your socks blessed off today. <laughs> but praise God. Up next is Dixie Sunshine singing and ministering for you. Praise God, we're so thankful to have on the program today with us Josh Nyman and Tara Webb. They're a singing group, and I'm telling you, you're going to be blessed when you hear them sing after a while. Josh mm -hmm. and Tara, welcome to the program today. Oh, thank you so Thanks. much for We're so us. excited yes. to have you. Amen, yes. amen. Now, where are you guys from? Uh, we're from Cleveland, Tennessee. It's not too far from Chattanooga for those that don't you know, know the area. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, we're from there. And how long have you been singing together? Oh, me and Tara's been singing together for about five years. Uh, we mm -hmm. had a group called Faithful Chosen, and mm -hmm. uh, our female vocalist, her husband come back from the war, and she had to go be with him. Mm -hmm. So uh, I called Tara up. I met her at an mm -hmm. awards uh, show, and mm -hmm. I said, you know, uh, how would you like to come and, you know, just kind of fill in for us this time? Mm -hmm. So we got together and practiced one night, mm -hmm. and God started moving in rehearsal. And, I mean, yeah. whenever God, the anointing starts moving in rehearsal, you know you got something. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, and, we, uh, and we need to clarify that you're not married. You know, some people might <laughs> yes. look in. Well, they have been. Oh, we're not. Yeah. 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 But I can tell in, in listening to you and watching you perform mm -hmm. that the anointing of God is all over you. And I'm, oh, I, I tell you what, that's yes. what I look for in, in that's, singers. Yes. That's what it's yes. all about is yes, anointing. You is. know, if you ain't got God, you don't have nothing. There's no reason for doing it. That's Amen. Right. Amen. 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 That's I can right. tell that's what your heart is, and mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm so thankful for you guys. Young young people like yourselves, you know, mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that give your lives for the glory of God. 
You know, I was uh, studying not too long ago about where it says to be saved. You confess Jesus as Lord Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. believe in your heart God raised him from the dead. And and all of a sudden I began to realize that that lordship of Jesus Mm -hmm. was when I relinquish the lordship of my life to him. And then it says we will be saved. And I believe the word saved there has to do with with not only salvation as far as us going to heaven, Mm -hmm. but it has to do with the blessings of God and everything that God has for us. So I I like to see people, and especially young folks, because there's so much out there trying to destroy our young people today who have made Jesus Lord Mm -hmm. and have decided Mm -hmm. that that's what they're going to do with their lives. Now, what are, what are you doing right now? Just kind of tell us a little bit about your ministry and where you're going and, and how I know you operate together and then some and separately. Yeah. So tell us just a little bit about what's going on now. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Terry, you want to tell them kind of a little bit about what you're doing? Yeah. You know, as far as- <laughs> yeah, we, um, we sing together um, in different things. He'll call me and say to you, I have a big um, appointment that he wants to sing or something and I'll sing with him. and. Um, but we also go on our own. He sings um, solo a lot. And then I um, go to Fruit of Worship Revival Center in Saudi yes. Daisy and I lead the praise team I, there yes, at Pastor right. Lisa's church. Yes. So when I'm not busy there, then I'm, I'm helping Josh and yeah. singing with him and I'll call him. And we just support each other. And that's hard to find sometimes people um, that really support each other's ministries. And, yes. and I'm thankful for him. He's one of my best friends and, and we support each other and thankful well, y'all, for that. Y'all flow so well too and mm-hmm. just get along so well too. And that's hard to find in ministry and people is. that you yeah. can flow with and have the same goals, the same heart yes. and for ministry and everything. Yeah. You know, some people may recognize Josh from about three or four years ago. Well, um, about two and a half, three years ago, yeah, I had a TV program I produced called The Dixie Sunshine Show. It had the barn set and everything. Yeah. Josh was part of my cast on that yeah. show. Yeah. And so we could, when we started this program back up, um, Joyous Living Today, yeah. I said, we've got to have Josh back on and he's got to be on there quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, I love your voice. It's beautiful oh, you. and you just have a, a, a... When people hear you, just uh, you sound professional. So oh, I, I love you. the harmony and... And uh, but anyway, so I, I like I like both your ministries, and couldn't wait to have you on the program too. Well, thank and, you. And, and you know, I think uh, uh, you know I I love to hear people sing, and especially under the anointing. Mm-hmm. And I've I've heard people sing before, you know, and mm-hmm. and I don't know if God anointed it or not because of the, <laughs> the way it sounded. Yes. And and you know, first oh, yeah. of all, you have to be quality. You know, you've mm-hmm. got to have a good voice. You. You've got to be able to sing. You I know. believe he gives yeah. you a talent. Yeah, there, a lot of people want, yeah. I want to sing, but you know, God's he, not going to anoint something, you know, that, that the, the he, talent and the ability is, is not really He actually has a good voice. It, <laughs> he just won't sing. Well, but, but anyway, the thing, <clears throat> the thing that I look for, you know, Josh, I know you wrote some of the songs that you sing and, yeah. and that you sing together. Mm-hmm. And you know, I've I've seen over the years. You know, you take the word, the song "Amazing Grace." Mm-hmm. That song is anointed, mm-hmm. yes. and it seemed like no matter who sings it, yes. it's it's going to bless people because yeah. the anointing was on that song. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and then there's other songs though that that just somebody sings it, you know, and it's just kind of mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, that was really good, mm-hmm. you know, I, that was a sweet tune, but they're just not that. Yeah, what I call the anointing, that power, yeah. you know, that, that really can set people free and change their lives. Yeah. But mm-hmm. you know, when you have people that sing who are anointed and they're singing anointed songs that mm-hmm. God has given to them, that's when things can happen. That's when yes. lives can really change. That's and true. and I, I can tell that you guys, that's the way you are. Not only are you anointed, <laughs> not only are you great singers, but the, the power of God is there and you you write songs mm-hmm. that are anointed as well. Well, because the difference is there's songs and then there's messages. That's yeah. right. That's you right. know, so it's a difference if there's a really a good message in the song or if it's just, just some words, song. a cute song with just words. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I sing songs that are cute, keep on the sunny side of life, you know, it's yeah. cute, but it really doesn't have that message. Yes. And I think all the songs that y'all are going to be singing on the future, today and the future programs, mm-hmm. have a message in it. And that is what, that's, that's right. it. That's, that's it right, right there. And we shared message. earlier tonight too, how that, that, you know, songs that lift Jesus up. Yes. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's <clears> one <throat> thing to sing about 
praising God, mm -hmm. and I hear a lot of that. We sing about mm -hmm. praising the Lord. But you know, when you really sing about Jesus who and really is. sing oh, about yeah. Yeah, who He is yeah. yes. and what He's done for us, yes. and and you know how we were so wretched, but you know at one <laughs> time, but He came in. Yeah. You know, now that is is what I believe. This, you know, the, the the Bible even says that the Spirit of God will mm -hmm. not speak of Himself. That's right. You know, we can talk about the Holy Spirit all day, but mm -hmm. it says He won't speak of Himself. Mm -hmm. But He says whatever the Father says, that's yes. what He'll speak. Yeah. And also, he's going to speak about Jesus and what Jesus mm -hmm. did. Yeah. So, see, when, when when we start singing those songs about him, that's mm -hmm. when the glory of God comes in because that's when the Holy Spirit says, hey, I can get a hold of that. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. when he gets yeah. a hold of something, it, it changes lives. Yes, Amen. Right. Well, and, listen, and I was going to say, that's like the song they're going to be doing, uh, Healer. We want to talk about that. Yes, yes. Um, do we want to go to the song now and then come back and finish talking about it, or do we want to talk some more? Let's, let's do that. Let's go ahead. Okay. And, and what is the, the name of the song? Uh, it's called Healer. Healer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, here's Josh Nyman and Tara Webb singing yeah. Healer for and, us. And we'll be back in just a moment. Yes. We'll talking to them some more. <laughs> yes. How many of y'all believe that Jesus is our healer? Amen? Just listen to the words as we sing this song.
Okay, we're back now with Josh and Tara. And guys, what a powerful song that was. That, yes. uh, you know, talking about the healing power of yes. the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, you know, we were talking before the break, before the song, about, mm -hmm. uh, about your ministry and, and the anointing of God on, on mm -hmm. songs and, and, and the way you sing. Uh, tell me, uh, what motivates you, Josh? What are some things that, that really, I guess, turns you on? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, my grandmother always taught me to sing. You know, when I was a kid, she'd pull me up there on stage and sing. And then uh, when I got to my teenage years, I didn't really sing that much. I started wanting to be popular in school. And like popular, all of us, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and sometimes the most popular thing ain't the, the God thing to do. And uh, anyways, uh, my grandmother has always suffered with asthma since I can remember. She would, we'd have to take her to the hospital uh, once, twice a week. And uh, every single time they said that they didn't know if she was gonna make it out. It, it got that bad. And uh, she's the one that raised me, you know. So mm -hmm. uh, she's the one that really encouraged me. Uh, you know, she's, she's just always there for me, you know, whenever it's about you know, teaching me about God. She's the one that took me in when I was, you know, a baby and taught me about Him. I wouldn't know Him if it wasn't for her. That's great. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> she had this asthma uh, for years. She couldn't even go up the steps without having to have a breathing machine with her, being on oxygen. It was just, it was really bad. Uh, I think she got down to about 23% lung function. And that, wow. that's, that's not good. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, she had a daycare going on. Her daughter helped her with it, and uh, they were outside, and uh, all the kids were in the pool, and, well, uh, it was time to get the kids out, and she started having real bad asthma attacks. She'd have them quite a bit, wake up in the middle of the night, all that kind of stuff, but this day she was having a really, really bad one. And I remember going upstairs to get her a breathing machine and coming back down, and I found her laying on the ground, you wow. know, and she was covered in blood, and wow. uh, she wasn't breathing. So uh, we called the paramedics, and my aunt tried to do CPR and couldn't couldn't get her. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm probably gonna start crying. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, the ambulance come. And they worked on her for about you know a good good hour before they even left. And when they left, the uh, they didn't even turn on the sirens, so we knew we knew she was gone. Uh, I remember. My little cousin Destiny was about a year old, and I was holding her, and I was trying not to cry and trying to keep her calm. And I remember praying, and I was like, God, I said, please don't take my grandmother. You know, I need her. And I was only 12. Sure. And I said, God, I, I really, I need her. You know, I, I don't know what I'd do without her. And uh, I remember praying, and I said, God, if you, because I knew she was gone. I knew she was gone. I said, if you'll bring her back, if you'll bring her back, I'll give my life completely over Praise to you. God. Wow. And I said, I'll do whatever you had me do. And uh, went to the hospital, and they wouldn't tell us nothing for about two, three hours. And uh, then they finally let us go back. We were, at, uh, we were, we were panicking for them two, uh, three hours at first because we, were, we knew. She, we knew she was gone. They wouldn't give us no information. They said, the doctor would be with you shortly. Hmm. You know, so we knew that was news of her passing. And uh, went back there, <laughs> and uh, she was sitting up. She looked fine. She wasn't having a hard time breathing, anything. They let her go home that day. Wow. Praise God. And uh, she was in the store the next day, <laughs> and she was going down, uh, going down the aisles, and uh, there was one of the, uh, the uh, ambulance people. What are they? Paramedics? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Paramedics. They were going down, and they saw her, and they. She said she'd walk, walk, you know, to the next aisle, and she'd see them go down. <laughs> and they're just looking at her, like with a, you know, weird look on their face, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's here, kind of mm -hmm. thing, you know. Finally, after a few aisles, they come down to her, and they said, Miss Baker, and she goes, Yeah, and uh, they said, uh, I can't believe you're alive, <laughs> and uh, she said. Okay, and they said, well, we lost you. And she goes, I know. And they go, no, we lost you. You were gone. Wow. And uh, she said, well, you know, God God brought me back. Wow. And uh, from that day, uh, she went back to her doctor and everything, and 
They said that she had 98% lung function. <laughs> uh, healed. She doesn't have to have no machine no more. Praise no oxygen. God. No <laughs> nothing Amen. like that. Mm -hmm. And I knew right then that, you know, if God can can love me so much to not take someone from me, that yes. and she, she's big time behind my ministry. I mean, yes, she, she supports is. me and uh, handles all my bookings. I mean, she just, she's the brains behind the, the ministry. <laughs> and... Uh, there's nothing sorry. like a prayer. Yeah. Okay. It's nothing like a praying mother or grandmother. Yeah. It's like a mother in your And that, yeah. that's why my mother was the same way with me, you know, and I know she was like your mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, having, I remember when my mother did pass away at an older age, you know, of course I'm older myself, you know, but, but when she passed away one day, I was thinking, who's going to pray for me now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and it scared me. It, it actually scared me because I thought, who's going to do that now? Mm -hmm. And of course the Lord kind of nudged me a little bit and he said, what about you? <laughs> and I said, well, I guess so. You know, I've got to pray for my kids too. But thank yeah. God for, for praying grandmothers and grandmothers that will, mm -hmm. that will stay by your side. Amen. So, so now she's uh, pretty much healed of, of asthma. Oh, she's healed. Yeah. Amen. Definitely. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And kind of, so you could say that God <clears throat> actually brought her back from the dead. Oh, like yeah. They said that they, exactly they actually lost her. Mm -hmm. And right. see, again, now that was you because... Josh and, and Tara, I'm a firm believer mm -hmm. in the fact that God has to use men in the earth. Yes. You know, we, yeah. we thank God, you know, for God. He's sovereign. He's, he's, he's throne, all powerful, mm -hmm. almighty. Yes. But, but for him to operate in the earth, he has to use a man. Yeah. And see, your grandmother would probably be dead today if you had not spoken that prayer. Mm -hmm. If you had not gone before God and said, mm -hmm. Father, I've got to have my grandmother. Mm -hmm. I, please don't take her. He mm -hmm. used you to, to get through in, from his healing power to come into this earth and manifest in your grandmother. Yes. Yeah. Because, see, I, I really believe with all my heart that God uh, says by his stripes we were healed. Mm -hmm. yes. In other words, healing has already been provided. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all we have to do is, is take hold together <laughs> with God, just agree with him. Yes. You know, yeah. That's all he wants yes. us to do yes. is agree with what he says. Mm -hmm. that's, that's his omnipotence, all power is yes. the fact that He has given us authority and, and wisdom. And He said, it belongs to you, it's yes. imparted to you, and just take yes. it and yeah. go with it. And yes. that's what you yeah. did. And we yes. don't have time to go into it, but she was also healed of cancer years later. Yeah. And you know, it's mm -hmm. not that the devil is not going to attack us or things are going to come against us through you know, because God don't put sicknesses on you. He, 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 it's, all the sickness comes from Satan. Mm -hmm. That's not God. But That's anyway, right. she was healed of cancer. Now, again, we don't have time because the time's cut short to go into it. But she's just been healed. She's got a great testimony. Yeah. We're going to have to have her come in and actually talk about that. Yeah, she can go a lot more into detail yeah. with all Amen. that. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Um, well, well, praise God. We're so... <laughs> Glad to have you yes. guys. Oh, I, thank you. One so day much, we're going to have an hour long program, and, and I know this, this goes by really so quickly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, I know. we're so thankful to have you yes. on the program. I know we're going to have you back again. Yes. Oh, and the uh, information is on the screen. Yes. It's been off and on, but it's on there if you want to contact. Um, either Josh or Tara mm -hmm. to sing in your church mm -hmm. or anywhere. They only do gospel music, so they'll That's sing right. outside the church, but they sing for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, praise God. Yes. Well, listen, if you may be watching today and, and sickness may be trying to, to grab your body and, and just, just bring you down. I know today at this taping, uh, uh, my head has been hurting all day, but I, you know, the thing is, is I know what Jesus yes. did for me. It's mm -hmm. By His stripes we Amen. were healed. Amen. And I, I knew that I was healed, so I grabbed hold of it. Yes. Grabbed hold of the promise of yes. God. Don't let things slip away from you. Let the Spirit of God put the Word of God in you and take hold of that healing or deliverance or whatever you need. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I think up next we've got a song. Me and Mama has a song for you. Up next is Dixie Sunshine. I thank you for God. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs>
Today's program was a blessing to you, and we want to remind you of something. You know, a lot of times when we go through our problems, we think uh, a lot that, that our problem is bigger than God, or even some of us think that, you know, the devil is bigger than God. Yes. But, you know, the Bible in 1 Corinthians ten thirteen it says that we will not be tempted. God will not allow us to be tempted above which we're able, but with every temptation, he'll make the way of escape. Now, that means that we have the ability and put into us by God through His Word to resist and overcome any temptation that would come our way, whether it would be temptation in our body to sin, to, to have sickness and disease, to, to be overwhelmed with worry and fear. God has made a way for us to escape any problem that we run across. Amen. So quit looking at your problem and thinking yes. it's so big you can't overcome it and look to God because He has the answer and it's yes, found it in His Word. Amen. Yes. Amen. And if you happen to come in on the tail end of this program, we want to remind you that you can watch this program again um, on DixieSunshine.org and right. tell your friends that are not in the viewing area that they can go to our website, DixieSunshine.org and watch the program again. Also, Join us, too. Uh, go to Facebook and add us a, as a friend, Tammy Odom or Bill Odom. Amen. Yes, and, and if, you, if you're watching this program on Sunday, just remember that, that Tuesday it will be yes. aired again at uh, 7 o'clock. 7.30. 7.30. p.m. So be sure and join us again on, on this channel at 7.30 on Tuesday night. Yes. So praise God. Have a blessed and wonderful week, and we'll see you again next time on Joyous Amen. Living Today.